Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. <sighs> Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. 
Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So, you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you... you might be the wisest. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think, how are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max? 
I don't like it at all. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Lambert is waiting too. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes, I, I do, Max. In many different lifetimes, of course. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so... That's her destiny. I believe you. Kate just needed some more... Helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I'm sorry. I, I better get going now. Everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm That's back. so ironic that Warren asked Mac. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Turn it up. Yeah.